Hi there and welcome back to the channel, hope you're all well. Um, something a bit different, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the K4 Karcher pressure washer. I bought this in the Black November sale um, because my other pressure washer was starting to leak. I have a 15 years so it, it didn't owe me a thing. Um, but it proves how much I really need this it. because it's been sat on the garage floor for six weeks and I'm only now unboxing it and today's Christmas Eve. So we always buy stuff that we don't really, <laughs> don't really need. But anyway. So what I thought I'd do is I'd do this unboxing video on the K4. Um, I've done loads of research on the different pressure washers. I always had Karcher, so I'm not gonna move away. They've always been good machines and good reliable machines to me. So what I thought I would do, we'd do an unboxing and just uh, go through what drawed me to the K4. And again, it's like anything, depending on how much you wanna spend on a product, depending on how much you, how better product you buy. Uh, but the thing that drew me to the K4 was the onboard hose storage and also uh, you can put detergents into it and all sorts. I use the Auto Glim um, snow foam system for the cars, so I don't need it for that, but when you're washing your patio, you can actually buy a chemical that goes straight through your machine, so you don't have to worry about scrubbing it all in first. So that's a bonus point. So let's get this unboxed, have a go of it. Car needs cleaning, because it's filthy. So um, let's see what it goes like. Uh, we'll get it unboxed, try it, and I'll give you a yay or a nay. So I'll see you on the other side. So let's get it unboxed. I'm going to unbox it. Brand spanking new, never been out of the box. Like I said, it's been sat on the garage floor for six weeks since uh, Black November weekend. Um, excuse the mess on the bench, but I've been manic with work and uh, holiday time. Nah, clear up time, I think. So, anyway, let's get this unboxed. So, like I say, it's a couple of things that draw me to the Karcher. Um, first thing is reliability. I've had a Karcher's before well, every time i've had a fresh wash i've had cartridges um the last one i had was 15 years old never let me down so i thought i'd go for a cartridge again Put it on flat so it don't fall out so as you can see got you out of the box it's nearly ready to go which is a bonus so like I say, the things that really drew me to this model was the onboard storage for the hose and also the um, the detergent system. You have to use, obviously, Karcher's detergent system or detergents, but um, it's there. So obviously there's a few things to put onto it. So uh, 3D instructions. Nothing high tech, no doubt. So obviously that's the tool holder. So that's gonna go in there. There should be some screws in there. Many hours later. So it's together, taking about 10 minutes to put together. Um, I actually read the instructions. That's impressive. So we'll get it outside, get it connected up to the water, get it run up, and uh, we'll wash the car and see how well it actually performs. You actually get two nozzles, the one that does the patio, uh, which is a bit too aggressive for the car, because that'll just be a swell, and I'll end up taking the lacquer and paint off, so we don't want that one. But then you get the, the actual um, adjustable one, which gives you 
uh, you either got a soft or a hard pattern on it. So uh, that's the one I'm going to use most. So that's the one I'll be putting up there or keep on the machine. The other one I'll store somewhere else when I clean the patio. So um, let's get outside. Let's get it connected up and let's uh, try it. Next stage. So now we've got the wash stage. Stage two done. Final stage, polar seal. This gives you a nice waterproof finish. This is where the magic happens.
Are you ready for it? Ready for the magic? So there we go, one down, two to go. Van to do, daughter's car. Might as well do it while I'm out there. Um, so anyway, get this cleaned up. I'll get these cars, get the van and her car washed, and then I'll come back and uh, I'll give you my thoughts. There's a few little things that um, I'd like to contribute on. So anyway, see you on the other side. My thoughts on the Karcher. I do like Karcher, I've been using Karchers for a long time. And as you would expect from a cartridge machine, the build quality, the performance, and the way it works is absolutely outstanding. Uh, really well made. Casing's all nice and strong, nice and waterproof, which is what you want, obviously, when you use a brush washer. Um, again, it's down to your preference of your budget. Um, the only thing I would change about it, longer hose. There needs to be another two or three meters longer to get you around those. You know what I mean? You don't want to have to keep moving your pressure washer. And it'd be nice if you can get a third and two thirds of the way around the car so you ain't got to keep backwards and forwards all the time and as you perhaps saw in the video it tried to keep tangling itself up this may be because it's been coiled up for so long hopefully in a, over a period of time it'll be more flexible it won't quite try and be so springy um but other than the length of the hose i'm quite happy with it uh like i said from the start i've always had culture so i i do like them and they are good machines if this one lasts me as long as the other one i'll be a happy bunny the other one lasts 15 years so I'll be a happy bunny for sure. Um, the control on the on the gun's nice. Uh, as you can see, you've got a control gauge on the gun here. Uh, and how that works is obviously working on pressure inside the gun. And as you uh, restrict the flow of the water, it increases the gauge to tell you what sort of pressure you're gonna have. So obviously on a car, you don't want major pressure. So I do like that feature on it. Um, obviously you get both attachments, that's another nice feature. Everything you need to get from out of the box to work in is in the box. Um, I was a bit skeptical that you might not get a hose pipe connector, but you do get a hose pipe connector. Um, but like I say, I do like it. So anyway, hope it's helped. I hope it's something different. And I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you have, then please smash that like and share button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hope you've liked what you've seen. Uh, if you have, then please consider subscribing. And uh, if you do subscribe, please hit that notification bell. And uh, you'll be notified for upcoming videos and lives. So anyway, guys, take care. Speak to you soon. And bye for now.